Okay, I wanted to move to subtraction now. Let's see. 3, 0, 5, 6, 7. Uh, take away 4, 9, 6, 7. Okay, let's see how this one works. Remember, uh, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 numbers at the top. 1, 2, 3, 4 numbers at the bottom. So I just want to make sure that the one at the bottom is smaller than the one at the top. Okay, here, 0, 0. 15, I gotta borrow. Make that one into a 9, make this one into a 2. So 15, take away a 9. If I'm thinking of a number, that would be 6. 6 plus 7 is 15. And then I got the 9, take away the 4, which is just 5, or 5 plus 4 is 9. And then 2, take away 0, which is just 2. You can check the problem. Again, let's have another number. 4, 0, 9, 3, 4, 0, 0, 1. Uh, let's start over here with a small number, 9, 9, 9, 8, 9, 9. Okay, I just want to make sure that the number at the top is larger than the number at the bottom. Okay, let's start over here. Uh, 1, I cannot take away nothing from 9, so I need to borrow from this one, becomes a 9, uh, becomes an 11 now. But this one couldn't borrow, so i got to go to the next one, another 9. This one then becomes 3, and since we are just borrowing from... 400 right here, 400 if you take away 1, it's going to be 399. So everything in here is good so far. Uh, we'll continue with the other side as if we need to. But right now, let's let's do 11 take away 9, which is just 2. Or 2 plus 9 is 11. And then 9 take away 9 is 0. Um, and then you got 9 take away 8, which is just 1. And then 3 take away 9, you can't. So you're going to have to start borrowing here. This becomes a 2. Now you got 13 take away 9, which will give you 4, and 2 take away 9, you can't, so you're going to have to borrow again. And borrow, it becomes an 8 right there. 12 take away 9, if I say that is 3, uh, 3 plus 9 is 12, that's right. 8 take away 9, you can't. So again, you're going to have to borrow, becomes a 9, and I told you this becomes a 39 because we're borrowing from 40. 8 take away, uh, uh, again, 8 take away, oops. 9 we couldn't, so we borrow 1, and it becomes 18, take away 9, we know that 9 plus 9 is 18, and 3, we can work backwards, 6 plus 3 is 9, and uh, 3 plus 0 is 3. So the answer is, if we count 1, 2, 3, uh, 3 right there, 36,934,102, you're going to do the checking. Okay, a lot of people have problems with this type of problems, like if you got 4, 0, 0, 0, 0, and then we, we got some a small number, 2, 3, 9, 4, 6. Uh, let's take a look at this number. That's 40,000. This is 23,000. And we can subtract them very easily. Well, people don't know what to do. 0 take away 6, you can. Uh, so borrow 1, it becomes a 10. 10 take away 6 will be 4. But now, where do you borrow from? I will say you borrow from 4,000. So you got 3. 999. Nine, nine. So, and some teachers or some people say that uh, you just make the zeros into nines, okay, and then bring this one down by one. All right. So you got five. Uh, this is easy. Five plus four is nine. Uh, nine, that's zero. Uh, over here you need six. Over here you need one. So the answer should be 16,054. You do the checking. If I made a mistake, of course, you can correct. Okay, let's try another one. Uh, do the same thing. Five, zero, 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 zero. You got some magical number here. Two, three, zero, nine, four. All right, do the subtraction and see what you get. Oop, again, we need to borrow. We borrow from zero. We can make that into a nine, make that into a nine, make that into a nine, and all the way to five, make that one into a four. Uh, again, you got four. Uh, you got 10 over there, so 6. 6 plus 4 is 10. You need in here 0, you need in here 9, and you need in here 6, and you need in here 2. And your answer is 26,906. Okay, what if you just have a... Uh, Take away 
borrow from this becomes a 2, 11, take away 9, that's a 2. And then here we got 12, borrow from this, we have 12 on 5. 12 on 5, we have 7. And then we have 3, take away 4, so we can borrow from this one, it becomes 13, take away 4, 9, and 8, and 3, is 5. So we move 3 units, and then we got 5,000. Nine, oh, sorry, 597,203. You do the checking.